So somebody asked me the other day, where do you reference or how do you know how to do that layout on a particular, like say, ACK or um, how to lay out uh, patio joists, deck joists. And I go, well, I reference one of these books. So stay tuned, I'll go through it. And these are four must have workshop math books in your arsenal. Okay, so the first one, I was told to buy this when I started woodworking. This is a popular science, that's the publisher. It's Robert Schraff, oh, I'm really bad at pronunciation. But you can see it's workshop math. But what I really dug about this book is it taught me so much from basic shop math, okay? But check this out, there's my bookmark. Or stair construction, or all these books I'm going to show you is how to read a vernier caliper, how to read a micrometer, all kinds of stuff. Look, common raft is that you need to know, okay? But it takes you into the shop. It even talks about molding and trim, okay? It has all the formulas for layout, which I really dig. Um, and, it, and, you know, other stuff, like it'll have wire gauges in there, and it's just, it's just a great reference book. So there's number one. Okay, so I was at Half Price Books a few years ago up here in Indy, and I saw this book here. It's uh, More Woodworkers Essentials, okay? I guess there are um, a Woodworkers Essentials, but it's by author Ken Horner. And I love this because it said Rules of Thumb. And I opened it up, and I started browsing through it. And... I've always wanted, and it was just so easy for me because there was a lot of pictures. Okay, I have this particular one here. We are going to, in a future video, when I show Big D how to lay out an act and how to get this pivot point. Okay, the formula I have, I have it written out a lot easier, but it's right here. And this, this reference is incredible, uh, easy to follow. Any, anytime I need something, look, look at the, look at the, uh, the contents here. Okay, and look, torsion boxes, offset, third turning, compound butt joints, everything, adjustable shelving. This thing is phenomenal. It's one heck of a math reference. So there's book number two. Okay, so book number three. This is another reference I use all the time. It's Chenier's Practical Math Application Guide. And look, look, just look at the cover. Basic skills, measuring, yeah, there's a mic on there. Uh, what's that say, squaring, leveling, uh, calculating the layout of angles. Ah, that's my cup of tea, I love geometry. Uh, how to calculate stairs, calculate and lay out rafters. This is just amazing uh, reference book. But I, I, uh, I bookmarked one that I think is really cool. It talks about centering and squaring or spacing. Okay, it shows the old carpenter's trick that we all use um, for spacing. Easy layout, but I, I dig this too. Look, trade trick number one, make a story pull. And that's something I do religiously. I do a layout, so I have that reference, and I hang it up because I'll probably use it again for something else. Okay, so just really a lot of good trade tricks in here. So that's book number three. Okay, so this is great because this is book number four. I gotta tell you, everybody who's a woodworker probably has this. It's called Pocket Ref by Thomas J. Glover. Okay, I bought this a long time ago. All right, and in here is so many chats and diagrams and anything. There is so much information in this tiny pocket reference book. Okay, so I'll recommend it to anybody. I mean, this is on almost every single counter in a tool store. Is it worth it? Oh, heck yeah. I've used it at least a hundred times, okay, for some quick stuff, quick reference. Okay, but I'm gonna pull this up. I wanna show you this, this is really cool. You could go from anything from CFM versus PSI for nozzles, air tool requirements, to tying knots, okay? And I'm just gonna flip through this. Look, minerals uh, sorted by hardness and minerals sorted by density. 
you never know what you need to look up but here's something i said i bought this many moons ago look how small the print is on this so make sure you have a good pair of spectacles <laughs> okay so there's the four books for you thanks for tuning in